In today's Clarity Conversation, we're going to talk to you about problems we see every day of pictures not formatted correctly, <laughs> misspelled words, these kind of things. And Brad has come up with a technique that's appropriate for the fire station setting called CPR. It's just a little fun step that we kind of came up with when we started to think about things and mistakes I've made, you know, or we see clients make, or you see them every day in social media called CPR. And that stands for copy your content, your photography that you use in your blog post or, or your particular Facebook post or Instagram, whatever it is, and then to review it before you push that post button. And so when you think about copy, one of the things we've been you know, talking to you guys about all the time is what is it that is going to spark your fan base? And you have a little saying about the, the little things that you do. Some of the, give us some of the steps when you start thinking about copy that you kind of go through thinking about audience first. Well, I like to use a, t a process, I call it magnetic headlines, trying to find those phrases, and you can see at the supermarket checkout counter, some of them, <laughs> that will get a click. Yeah. But we also do research, we use uh, keyword research, mm -hmm. we use Google Trends and uh, other word, keyword phrase, yes. not so much for SEO, there is an SEO benefit, but we, what we want to understand is what is your audience interested in, what are they looking for, and then that's, that's what you want to serve Sure, on. and what are they searching for to, to write your copy, so don't walk in on a Monday morning or a Tuesday morning and go, I'm not going to post today. Right. You should already have a plan set. You should already have done the keyword searching. You should already have kind of an idea of what's going to resonate with your audience. The second, the P, photography. Guys, please spend some time telling your story with the photo because what's the first thing they see in a, in a social right. media feed? That's the engagement right it's there. It's the photo. They're not, they're not going to click on your post if there's not an engaging photo. Right. Back to the kittens. Right? For a while, everybody was kittens and puppies. But think about that. How can I tell my story with a photo? We learned that tremendously quickly at uh, Cowboys. We could put up a post of a certain individual or an action in the, in the game or whatever, and it just, it, that's what really got the engagement. So Brad and I went through a process this morning for a new hot rod shop we're working for, and you know, we don't just throw mud at the wall and see what sticks. So I, I, I'll give you a, a look at the process. They've got a 1966 Lincoln Continental with the suicide doors. They're doing a resto mod restoration. So first off, we had to do a lot of research about what, what people wanted to know about that car, how popular it was. Uh, and so that helped guide the video that we shot, but then we also, it helped guide what do we say in the post. Correct. I wrote the first draft, and then you came in behind me. I wrote a second draft, and then together we looked at the final draft and edited it again, and that all gets back to the R, which is review. Guys, you have to review it four or five times by yourself, and then even have a colleague check it and make sure it's saying what you want to say, the photo looks good, and it's going to potentially spark that passion. You can't just post stuff right. anymore. That's what people throw up, and, and like you're talking about throwing stuff. Well, well, I just want to get volume out there. I just, I know I got to post four or five times, and I got to do. It. No. Think quality over the quantity. The other important part of the review is that we review it. To is the audience interested in this? Will they click this title? But also, is there anything here that might trigger a negative controversy? Something, uh, you know, that's not PC. That yeah. you, you don't want to invite that trouble either. Don't feel the fire, yeah. as we used to say. That's the Clarity Conversation of the Week. So hit one minute more time for everybody, CPR. CPR, check your copy and your content. Make sure it's something that the audience is going to want to view because you've done your research, not because you're guessing. Make sure the photo tells the story that you're trying to illustrate or highlight. And then finally, review, review, review not only the post before you hit the button, but also after. Check the analytics on it to see if it actually did what you wanted it to do. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.